The Bozeman Ice Dogs host the Helena Bighorns on December 2nd at the Haynes Pavilion. Let's go to the highlights. Michael Sullivan took a shot from the slot. Rudy Pino gets the rebound past Jake Hebda. Bighorns go up 1-0. Zach Maxwell would put the Bighorns up 2-0 as he gets the puck past Hebda from the left circle. Matt Oberlin would take advantage of a Bozeman Ice Dogs turnover here as he gets the puck past Hebda. It is a 3-0 Bighorn lead. The Ice Dogs would get their first goal of the game here as Tom Green gets the puck in the slot, gets it past Nick Wackerly. Bozeman down 3-1. Dalton Bowles would take the puck at the left circle, get it past the glove to Hebda. Bighorns go up 4-1. Zach Baker cuts the lead to 4-2 as he gets it past Wackerly. Bozeman down two at the break. Matt Hatterley gets the fifth goal of the game for the Bighorns. The Bighorns go on to win it 6-2. Dalton Bowles finished the game with two goals. Slash and mini slash for getting the crowd pumped up before the Missoula Maulers Yellowstone Quake game on December 4th at the Glacier Ice Rink. Zach Abel put the Maulers up 1-0 as he gets the puck past Alex Stedler. Ray Edwards takes a shot from the point, gets it past Stedler. Maulers would go up 2-0. Martin Dubeck causes a turnover in the quick zone, takes it 1-0 with Alex Stedler, gets the puck past Stedler. Shorthanded goal, Maulers go up 3-0. The Maulers go up 4-0 in the second period as Martin Dubeck takes the pass at the right circle, gets it past Stedler. That would end Stedler's night. The Quake get on the board for the first time, 14-39 in the second period as Chris Rinaldi gets the pass out in front and gets a pass to Chris DeFaro. After two, Maulers lead 4-1. Tyler Merrick would get the third power play goal for the Maulers as he gets a pass out. Larson, the Maulers win the game 6-1. Missoula was 3-for-8 on the power play. On Friday, December 4th, the Bozeman Ice Dogs hosted the Butte Rough Riders at the Haynes Pavilion. Let's go to the highlights. Zach Wilson put the Rough Riders up 1-0 as the puck's just thrown on towards the goal. It goes off of one of the forwards of the Rough Riders to the stick of Wilson. He gets it past Alberta. Tom Lee would get the goal here as he gets it past Dylan Snyder. Ice Dogs would tie the game at one. Dustin Simmons gets the breakaway here, gets it past Dylan Snyder. Ice Dogs take a 2-1 lead. There was no scoring in the second period as the Rough Riders thought they had a goal. The referee waved it off. Score remained two to one after two. Ryan Thompson ties the game here as he gets the puck past Andrew Alberta. Game tied at two. Tom Green gets the game winning goal here as he gets it past Dylan Snyder. The Ice Dogs would go on to win it four to two. Tom Green had two goals in the game. The Helena Bighorns hosted the Missoula Maulers on Saturday, December 5th. Let's go to the highlights. Neil Rooney would get the first goal of the game for the Maulers as he gets it past Ryan Sutliff. Maulers go up 1-0. Cody Hess would tie the game at 1 for the Bighorns in the second period on a power play goal assisted by Taylor Landville and Chad James, 7-08 into the period. The Bighorns take a 2-1 lead in the second as Nolan Grower gets a shorthanded goal, gets it past Andy DeCristofaro. Andy DeCristofaro makes a great save here as he stops this one on zero chance for the Bighorns. The score remains two to one. Dan Connor would take a shot from the point here, get it past Ryan Sutliff, tie the game at two. That would be the score after two periods. Ryan Sutliff would make two great saves here. The first one goes behind the net. They get the puck back through the Maulers. The next save goes into Sutliff's glove. He freezes the puck. Game remains tied at two. Nolan Grower would get the game-winning goal for the Bighorns, 8-29 into the third period. The Bighorns won the game 3-2. They had three players that finished with two points in the game. The Bozeman Ice Dogs hosted the Yellowstone Quake at the Haynes Pavilion on December 5th. Let's take you to the action. The Quake take a 1-0 lead here as Nick Kent takes a shot. Matthew Schultz gets the rebound. Yellowstone on the board first. Tom Green would get the pass in the slot, get it past the glove of Alex Stadler. Game tied at one. Zach Baker would take the puck off the draw, shoot it towards Stadler. It would go off Stadler into the net. Ice Dogs take a 2-1 lead. The Yellowstone Quake would tie the game here as Alex Odia gets the Nick Hensberg rebound, ties the game at two. That would be the score after the first period. Zach Baker takes the breakaway here, gets it into the goal, 108 into the period. Ice Dogs take a three to two lead. Dustin Simmons would put the Ice Dogs up four to two here on this slap shot power play goal, assisted by John Kippen and Alex Gutierrez, 339 in the second period. 
Corey Sanowski would redirect this shot here, gets it past Nick Coles. Andrew Lord on the assist, 13-51 in the second period, 4-3 Ice Dogs. Nick Coles came to play the puck out of his net. Couldn't get back in time. The puck gets to Andrew Lord at the left circle. He gets it past Coles. Game tied at 4, 55 seconds into the third period. Alex Gutierrez gets the puck, starts falling down in the slot, gets the shot off in time, gets it past Stadler. Ice Dogs take a 5-4 lead. The Quake had one more chance to tie the game. They lose the puck in the neutral zone. Alex Goplin throws it towards the net. It gets in for an empty net goal. The Ice Dogs go on to win it 6-4. They were 2-4 for four on the power play. 